Okay, concept, or the, the theory of, of what we were doing and where we're pushing, right? So if I was, again, if I, can you come over here, Freddie? If I was to push him here, notice that his right shoulder moves towards me, right? So if his knife was here and I pushed him this way, his knife moves closer to my face or to my body, correct? What is the formula? What's the number one rule for defense? Don't be there. Don't be there. What's the formula to achieve that? Time, what was it? And distance equals time, absolutely, right? If I, if I push him here, I'm, I'm decreasing the distance. What does that mean? Less time to react. Less time for me to react, correct? So a lot of people have wondered, again, how do I move so fast? I don't, I move my opponent slower. Okay, so if I'm pushing it here, this moves closer here. That's why we, we have to be aware of where we're pushing. We also have to be aware of where we're going. If I'm pushing here and I'm stepping out this way, what did, happen? What did I just do? Closer. Exactly. Come over here, Freddie. So if I'm going to go this direction, one, two, three, four, that's how I'm going to push, uh, uh, that's how I'm going to check him, correct? So we're going one, two, three, four, that's how I'm going to check him. Why? Because I'm increasing the what? Distance. Which, re which require him to do, get, it require more time to come back at me, yes, correct? Yes, so if I'm going to go one, two, three, four, that's my cut if I'm going to go that direction. Right? Then you might be asking, Guru, I will just go over here every single time. Correct? That's a valid thought process. But what if there was a wall right here? What if there's a, a, a river here? Or the floor is lava over there? Then what do I do? Hold on, excuse me, attacker, let's go this way. Okay, now I can go this way. It doesn't work like that. You have to be able to understand which direction you can go. You always cannot assume that you're going to go one, two, three, four. You can go backwards because what if there's a wall behind me? Correct? You have, to, you have to be able to move in whatever direction you need to go. And you need to understand body mechanics, right? So we're going one, if I'm going to go this direction. If I'm going to go this direction, one, two, three, four, boom. I'm here, right? So what was the difference about that one? When I pushed him here, right, I'm going here, we got locked up this way. Now what do we do? I turn, here, right? It does, I mean, it, it's not always gonna be, I'm gonna cut this way, I'm gonna cut this way, and then he's gonna go this way. You need, it, the way we train is I teach you basic movements, and then it becomes automatic. So when he slices me, boom, I'm out. And finish him off, exclamation point, right? Thank you. Why not? You're not done. There's no rules, man. Right, exactly, but if, if, if I throw the knife and then his 99 buddies come, then, what I'm, then I'm stupid, right? You have to assume, right? If there's nobody else, then okay, then yeah, I'll throw it. Right, but again, he cuts, slice, 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 thrust, 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 right, and push off. Okay. Quay Doug, slice, slice, right, slice, slice, and he does. Pop, 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 pop. I forgot how he did that. Oh, he does reverse grip, right? So he goes slice, slice, slice. I'm sorry, slice, slice. Slice and pop, 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 and out. Slice. Right? Or he'll do this. S slice me. Slice, slice, slice. How the orientation of the blade does matter, but understanding your opponent's body mechanics matters more. Does that make sense? Yes, All right, let's bow.